Alright, what's going on guys? It's Almond. Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. In today's video, we're going to be going over some spellman changes that were added with the recent patch. Also, there's some spellments that I didn't go over in one of my videos, and I wanted to clear it up in this video so you guys are kind of caught up on all the stuff that's coming from test room to live room. So, if you do enjoy that type of content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that type of stuff, and uh, let's get into it. So, the main thing is uh i would like to go over i guess i would say is catch of the day so catch of the day now has its old path again before it used to have this it used to be able to just do damage and remove the two charms and then eventually you got pvp banned and then it required you to get the new path um or they would just change it to the new path which was the two blades and it being a school pit so now you can actually have the old path if you actually do desire it which is kind of cool there's some fights where i can actually see this being viable which a lot of people wouldn't re like see it right away but there's certain fights i can see myself actually using this i wouldn't use it all the time i'm not gonna say it's 100 percent uh amazing but it is actually viable in certain fights so i'm glad that they bought it back because like hey you guys are already doing the same thing with other spells you guys might as well let us have access to the top path or just the original path so but what it does suck though for the people who do just want to use this for pvp now you do have to farm up spell elements to get the tier two to switch it to the actual blade path so keep that in mind moving forward you do have to farm up some spell elements now right away and i definitely will be doing it on stream as well whenever um I go farm the gold key boss in Mushu because I do want some stuff from there. So I will do it on stream and people can join me if you guys are looking forward to that. Now let's move on to some other spells that were changed. Pigsy was unbanned. Just tier one though. <laughs> Not the entire thing. Um, I mean, yes, you can go the bottom path. But uh, in regular PvE, of course, just use the top path. In advanced combat, I would still recommend just using tier 1. Tier 2 is a bit iffy due to the fact that um, if they do have hot cheats, you do not want to activate them. So just the standard regular pigsy, I think, is just the best bet. And I didn't think that they were going to um, leave this band, the top path at least. But I can see why they did it, because it's just bigger value heal. I mean, yes, it's only 50 HP. But it does scale with um, outgoing and all that type of stuff. And so when it comes to like raids, definitely helps out a lot. So I think that's why they kept it at one. That's my assumption. But still though, Pigsy is uh, relatively unbanned and kind of changed it a little bit. Also, Goat Monk was changed. I totally forgot to go over this. Um, originally, Goat Monk did have this top path. It originally just was this top path. Um, but then eventually got changed to this bottom path which was the healing would just hit and heal, give you an overtime heal, which a couple people on life school would use this for PvP. But it didn't have like that damage path that PvE players wanted for like a five pip hit. So I'm glad that they bought it back in case a life does actually want to hit in certain fights or just even questing, you can now use this and it should help you out a little bit, especially that big damage ramp. So definitely, definitely up to your interpretation. I know it's going to cost a lot of crowns down the line by resetting your stuff from pvp to pve hopefully there's like a, a system that they implement where it's kind of like the sockets or like you can use like a socket or something like that to reset your spell for free maybe people can grind it up or something like that and grind up the sockets and reset your spell elements that would be a pretty cool path that they could take so there's that queen calypso also got changed a little while back when testosterone came out um, it has the original path again, so it basically would put a windstorm trap on everybody that is 30 and uh, Yes, the hit will take the trap But the cool part is it would still leave a windstorm on for the other enemies I used to use this quite often just so I can break a shield or something like that uh, And also do some damage and then leave a trap on the other enemies quite Surprised that they actually bought it back because once they change it to this negative 80 I didn't use it anymore. <laughs> Me personally, I did not use this bottom path. I don't know how how much people were using it for PvP though, but uh, definitely, definitely. Well, I don't see myself using it. <laughs> and also keep that in mind: you are gonna have to grind up some spell elements for Queen Calypso if you want to use the bottom path for PvP. Because tier one, it is PvP banned, so you have to grind it up to tier two and be able to uh, use the PvP version if you guys wanted to use the infection that's on there. So keep that in mind. Also, 
Time room store was changed. They bought back the old path as well. The old path used to remove a charm on you or a negative charm and just go for hit. So for example, if I'm questing or just doing some type of uh, gold key boss and I get hit with the weakness, you can just use this, break the weakness and just not have to worry about it. So for some reason, if one of the old, old bosses um, still have the minus 90 E free, which in some case there is, um, you would just use this to get rid of that minus 90 and just hit. If you don't want to waste a turn cleansing, of course. But I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, you can just cleanse. And it. Yeah, no, but I'm giving that option for the other players if they wanted to actually use this in some sort of scenario. And also keep that in mind for the bottom path. If you do want to use it for PvP, same thing. You got to get it to tier two to actually make it um, viable if you actually want to use these. There's a couple other things that were also changed, I believe. But the AoEs, I know I talked about it in my previous video, but the divide path no longer exists they got rid of it there is still a spellman path from one through five that you can actually upgrade the spell and you know sure you're getting like literally 35 free damage um on these spells so why not upgrade it i know it's gonna be not it's not gonna be a priority for a lot of players but uh it's definitely recommended and they're not pvp banned at the moment i probably should make a video explaining a little bit more about the pvp bans because still people are getting kind of confused like why did they unban it and uh why did they ban it in the first place? There's a lot of stuff that I think people just don't understand quite yet. But the best way to put it is they released the bottom path mainly for the fact that you can use it in hard tier content and raids. And at the same time, make it viable for team PvP. It's just a weird scenario to be in because you have to benefit the PvP players and the PvE players. I'm just really hoping down the line we do get separate bans, but... I'm not too sure how confident I am with that because of the fact that maybe that's something that's not on their mind at the moment, you know, because they do release a raid and well, at the moment, the whole point is to focus on the raid during the summer and then towards the end of the year, they release a new world. So whenever we get this AOE change or like this ban stuff change, a lot of people are going to be uh, happy because at least they'll separate the bands and people won't get confused. Like we already have PvP icons like this only allowed in PvP mode, but you can actually use this in hard tier content too. So they do share like the same symbol in a way. So hopefully we get like a, a way of just telling what's what, you know, and it isn't just um, Meteor that got unbanned. It happened to all the other four pip AOE. So like if I go look at Blizzard, they don't have the bottom path anymore. It's just the straight damage path now. They're all unbanned. If like if I go on my storm and I look at Tempest, it is unbanned. But I are there are some spells that are still banned. Um, if I go on my myth and quickly show you guys, which I'm pretty sure not many people expected this, but I can see why they would do something like this. Like if we go over to my myth right now, I know my gear's shocked because I was busy testing stuff on test realm. But let's quickly go over the myth and surprise surprise earthquake earthquake is still banned um i can see why it's it just really comes down to if they want to i'm pretty sure the tc is banned as well i would assume but at the moment i from what i've heard this is the only one that's actually banned out of all the aoe's i know that they were going to ban some other stuff as well but there is no patch notes at the moment of this video because it's literally like 10 minutes after test realm got dropped again for its update or its weekly whatever so um just uh, keep that in mind whenever they add more changes i will definitely go over them or maybe put in the comments down below but it's still funny because i think i have a banned path on on humongo frog <laughs> it says i don't have humongo frog but if you guys look i have divide <laughs> uh that's funny but that is it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed me going over the Spellman changes. I know I'm kind of a little bit behind on some of them. You guys probably already knew about them. But there are some players that didn't even know about this. So I thought I would just quickly go over and show you guys. So those are all the Spellman changes. There's some other stuff that has been changed as well, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's mainly for raids and stuff. And there's some new stuff added for PvP. If you guys want me to go over the PvP stuff, I can. But I want you guys to keep an open mind. I don't do PvP. Like, I wouldn't consider myself a PvP, like to any extent. I think if you like want PvP content, um, 
that wouldn't be the best <laughs> maybe down the line i'll try doing pvp more and uh try to get better at it but i am not the best i will confidently tell you that right now i'm not the best <laughs> but uh that is it hope you guys enjoyed you should leave like subscribe all type of stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys